Whether you're new to the IntelliMan project or you've been doing it for a while, I hope you will find it very useful as a tool for self-improvement, for you to constantly look at yourself and notice your life and your behaviors and things that need improvement in yourself. I would like to talk to you about how the project has helped me, but I want to focus on challenge number five. Challenge number five is the Man Up Challenge, which involves watching five videos. And one of these five videos, video number four specifically, deals with the aspect, one aspect of men that is pretty much ignored by most men. They don't realize how a big part of being a man is making decisions all the time. Of course, women have to make decisions too. But men in history have been in positions where they have to, they've had to lead, they've had to make very tough decisions, decisions that implied their survival, the survival of their family, the protection of their families, decisions that involved uh, leading a country to war or defending a country in war. In short, men have had to make very tough decisions historically. So this is very much a part of our DNA. And the better you can get at making decisions, the better man you will be. One of the things that this challenge has helped me was when I looked up the origin of the word decision, you, you find out something very interesting. The word decision is actually made up of two words. It's made up of the word scission, which means cutting. When you make a scission, when doctors usually use this, this term, they are going to make a scission. I'm going to make a scission here. I'm going to cut your skin, your flesh. So scission means cutting, and D-E means off. So to make a decision means to cut something off. That's very enlightening, because if you think about it, that's exactly what we, are, we have to do when we make a decision. Because when you're making a decision, you're making a choice. You're necessarily cutting something off, be it a, a job that you decide to take and, and the other that you don't want to take. Uh, you are choosing a married life and cutting off the single man's life where you're going to choose what you're going to eat and not that's going to be good for your health, for your body, for your fitness purposes, and what you're not going to eat even though you, you like it, but it's not going to serve your purposes. Whatever you decide, you're always cutting something off. So being a man of decision involves you practicing, making these these choices, these tough choices that will always involve in you choosing one thing over another and not being afraid to lose that part that's being cut off. In other words, a man many times wishes the life of a married man, having a family, stability, all the good things that a good married life brings. But then he's afraid of losing his single life, the perks of his single life. He'll never be a happily married man. If he does get to be married, like a lot of men after getting married, they insist on retaining some of the behaviors of a single man. So their marriage never works. Why? Because they never make a decision. Now I'm a married man. I'm no longer single. Right? So when you make a decision in your life, you will have to have the courage and lose the fear of losing something. Because you believe that the part that you're keeping is much better than the part that you are cutting off and giving up. So being a man involves being able to make decisions and tough decisions, strong decisions, sometimes quick decisions that will improve your life in all aspects. Because decision is something that we have to do every day. From the moment we wake up, we have to decide, do I stay five more minutes in bed or do I jump out of bed right now? From the moment you wake up in the morning to the moment you put your head to the pillow at night, 
you are making decisions all day long, big and small. And these decisions add up. So the better you get at making decisions, the better you will be in your life, the more successful you will be. So think about this. Don't be hesitant to cut things off, to remove things, to lose things, to eliminate things from your life. Life is often what we choose to cut out, to drop, and what we choose to keep and retain that is the essential, what is really necessary, and is going to be a blessing to our lives. This is one of the most helpful challenges in the IntelliMent project that I have had change my life. All right, so I'd like to share this with you. I hope the project will be very helpful to you. And if it is, pass it on to others. Thank you and God bless.